Okay, back at it here. About to start a new uh, little concept here. Let's talk about even and odd functions as they pertain to trigonometry. Okay, if you remember an even function, like for example, x squared, right? If x equals x squared, what happens is if you plug in the opposite of x, it's, it still spits out f of x, right? So that's your definition of an even function. Whereas an odd function, like I always like to think of x cubed, right? You get negative f of x, right? So if you're thinking of x cubed, if you plug in 2, you get comma 8, 2 comma 8, right? You're cubed. But if you plug in negative 2, you get negative 8, right? You get opposite the original y value. So you're um, with... You have even trig functions, and your even trig function is the cosine of x, okay? So the cosine is is an even function. Well, guess what? So is it's reciprocal. The secant of x, okay? The secant of x is also even. So that means the cosine of negative x is, guess what? Just the cosine of x, okay? In fact, let me show you that. Okay. Let's say we're looking at this. Let me blow this up a little bit. And let's take, uh, for instance, uh, cosine of pi 6. You see, see, see how the cosine of pi 6 is root 3 over 2? Okay. Well, the cosine, if you were to go the cosine of negative pi 6, is guess what? So let's rotate, let's rotate negative pi six amount, right? Negative pi six amount. The cosine there is root three over two. It's the exact same thing. It's the exact same thing, right? Both of them are root three over two. Okay. So the cosine function is even, and so is its reciprocal. Okay. So the secant. The secant of um, boy, struggling here today. Secant negative x equals the secant of x. Most organized today, but oh well, we'll make it work. Now our odd functions. The others are odd. Okay, let me extend this a little bit. So my odd functions. So the sine, the sine is odd. That means the sine of negative x is, guess what? Negative sine of x. And the tangent of negative x is negative tangent of x, okay? They're reciprocal. So cosecant of negative x is negative cosecant of x because, again, the cosecant function is odd. The cotangent of negative x is negative cotangent of x. I missed that negative up there. Right up above on that negative cosecant. Okay. So, let's say you're doing, um, let's say if the tangent of t, we don't know what t is, but let's say the tangent of t is two thirds, right? Well, then find tangent negative t. You say, well, since it is odd, this is true, right? So the tangent of negative t must be negative. What's the tangent of t? Two thirds, so it's negative two thirds. Okay, so the tangent negative t is negative two thirds. All right, so we use that odd function there, the fact that it's an odd function, okay? Um, let's do let's here a little bit. Let's go ahead and just punch a few into our calculator. Let's use the uh, TI eighty nine. Let's use our calculator to make sure that we can punch in some simple things like sine five five pi sevenths, for instance. And let's also do how about cosecant of two? Cosecant of two. Let's do both of those. 
Let's go. Let me walk over to 